Hey, Steve here. So, uh, video of the side of Mech 1 that did the show, Death Metal. My favorite genre. But uh, there's some other bands that are really uh, mystical. So these are mystical albums. Uh, starting off with uh, uh, Thrash, some Black, um, maybe some traditional heavy metal, I believe. But um, I'll just go through them. My favorite albums to listen to that I feel mystical. Uh, first one is uh, Wind Deer, uh, Lakeford. Um, it's my favorite black metal album of all time. I'm just badass. Um, I've got the vinyl version of this coming in. I can't wait. Um, got Arthur coming in too, but Wind Deer. I believe it means uh, warrior. But yeah, just a sick fucking album. Sick. Badass black metal. Actually, my favorite black metal song of all time is on this album. It's called Resurrection of the Wild. It's badass stuff. Badass cover. Yep. Wind Deer. Can't go wrong with it. Favorite. Favorite. Uh, now, let's go to the vinyls. What I'm listening to right now is some Manila Road Mystification. Um, I have this on cassette. I have Open the Gates and I have Crystal Logic and um, the Deluge, the Deluge or Deluge or whatever it's called. Um, that's what's playing in the background is Mystification. It's my favorite Manila Road album. It's not as epic as Crystal Logic or Open the Gates, but it's aggressive, borderline thrash, traditional heavy metal. This band's not this band, uh, almost a local band, because it's not too far, Wichita's not too far from me, but uh, badass stuff. If you ever get a chance and you haven't heard of Manila Road, I'll check them out. Right. Yeah. That reminds me of uh, Overkill, kind of. It's a better version of Overkill. Second, um, I've had this album for a long time. This is uh, Grim Reaper, Sea in Hell, uh, traditional heavy metal, uh, borderline glam, kinda, I guess, in a roundabout way, because it kind of reminds me of Motley Crue a little bit. <laughs> Hopefully, it don't piss anybody off. It's the OG Press here. Um, I used to have a compilation album back in the day, real cassette, and I can't remember the name of it, but I had <clears throat> Dio's uh, Don't Talk to Strangers to open up, um, I had Free Will Burning by Judas Priest, I had uh, See in Hell by Grim Reaper, and I think an Anthrax song, I can't remember, I wish I still had that compilation, but uh, yeah, badass stuff, and I love that artwork, it's killer artwork, Grim Reaper, See in Hell, um, <laughs> Look how old this is. Tanned. Unfortunately, it's a little warped. Um, unfortunately. But, now I've had it for years. RCA. Need to, need to fix it. I don't, haven't got around to it. Plus, I have it on CD, so I can listen to it then. <clears throat> All right, so uh, one of my favorite thrash metal albums, Overkill, Feel the Fire, real mystical, real in the vein of this album. It has that same aura, that same feel. Uh, this is thrash, but borderline traditional heavy metal, I think. A little bit of punk here and there. Uh, my favorite song in there is Feel the Fire. Uh, Sonic Reducer, Race the Dead, Rock to the Core. Hammerhead, I mean, there's not a bad song on this album. Killer, killer album. Overkill, Fill the Fire. Oh, yeah. Go to some, uh, I only basically listen to this album if it's snowing, I mean, it, you know, or if I've watched, uh, like, uh, The Hobbit or something. <laughs> because uh, this album is really awesome. The Emperor. Uh, in the Night Side Eclipse, uh, 
finally got this thing and uh, just freaking stoked about it. Uh, just badass album. Uh, my favorite track on here is, of course, everybody's uh, I Am the Black Wizards. Um, look at that artwork. Fucking killer. I mean, just detail. Uh, badass shit. Going to some thrash. Canadian Thrash, 1987, I believe. Uh, Sacrifice for Determination. Um, this is a badass, aggressive motherfucker. Uh, there's two albums, uh, thrash albums, I have to listen to at the same, well, at the same time, but back to back, and it would be this, and Creators, um, the Pleasure to Kill. Um, I hope that's right. Last time, my last video got it wrong. Uh, Pleasure to Kill, yep. Um, badass album. Uh, freaking aggressive. A lot of people say they kind of sound like Slayer. I think they're just a little bit more rawer, more aggressive than Slayer in my book. Um, yeah, this is a badass motherfucker. Sacrifice, Forge, Determination. I'm going to, uh, I believe, Britain. Uh, Mrs. Hydravane, um, Rather Death and False Faith. Um, you're gonna check out a song on this thing, um, Rabid or Crucifier. Um, kind of a slayerish kind of vibe on it, um, but really good. That artwork is so sick. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's a lot of people who uh, list this as worst album covers of all time. I think it's just perfect. Yeah, so Hydravane. Uh, rather death than false faith. Right ass shit. And this is a double LP. Um, comes with the demo. Um, the reptilian, reptilian, or whatever. Um, it's a uh, killer. Gatefold. So happy to have this album. Um, the Crypt. Record company. Oh. Switching back to black, black metal. Um, actually, this is the very first second wave black metal album I ever heard. And of course, it's uh, Dark Thrones, A Blaze in the Northern Sky. And honestly, I was a huge fan of Soul Side Journey because it's death metal. And then I got their next release was this. And uh, First, it's kind of disappointing when I heard it. It, was, it didn't sound like Soul Side Journey, and the guitar sounded weird in my book because you know black metal was kind of a new thing back in '92. And, um, and you know, it took a little while for this one to grow on me, but once it did, um, that Paragon by Lyle, or Where the Cold Wind Blows, or um, that Blazing Northern Sky. Therian Life Code, gosh, this is a classic, classic black metal album. Dark Throne, A Blaze in the Northern Sky, badass fucking black metal, second wave black metal. Kind of jumping around with the, the bands, but my favorite King Diamond album, uh, Abigail. Uh, what can I say? Um, the artwork, the artwork grabbed me when I was a kid, and uh, we used to hang out in the backyard and listen to this, or Possessed Seven Churches, or Metal Church in the Dark, or you know, even Slayer, and some Metallica, some Bright Lightning, uh, all those albums, classics and gems back then. Um, of course, my favorite song is A Mansion in the Darkness. Um, that song is the greatest King Diamond song in my book, in my opinion, my personal favorite. Abigail, King Diamond. Going to Germany for some German thrash. This is uh, Death Row, uh, Riders of Doom. Uh, man, this is a killer, killer album. Uh, this is a reissue by B BMG Noise. Um, I fucking love this album. Um, 
what's off really cruel is they get the Satan's gift uh, demo or EP or I guess they had to change their name. But, uh, it's badass, badass uh, thrash metal album. Uh, I love drum, I love my German thrash. And this guy reminds me of Creator. Hey, get this in a sleeve. Um, but yeah, Death Row Riders Doom. Moving forward, Canadian Thrash, um, Infernal Majesty, uh, None Shall Defy, oh man, mystical, makes you think you're in, uh, whenever I hear it, it makes me think I'm in uh, Canada and some dark forest with a uh, fire pit and moss on the trees, I don't know, it's, it's a weird place it takes me, I just love this album. Uh, my favorite track on here, of course, is Night of the Living Dead, which Don, that Swedish black metal band, covered on one of their EPs. And uh, that's killer, but this, you want to hear the original, this is the one. Badass shit. Colonel Majesty, Unchildified. Mystical. Another mystical, awesome album is. Uh, Slaughter, uh, Strapedo, uh, Killer, Killer Thrash, um, Canadian Thrash, I think, uh, if I remember right, this came out in 86, I believe so, the High Roller reissue, um, this band is credited with uh, being the first band to have the HM2 Swedish sound, and I think uh, a lot of those bands in Sweden, you know, they either stumbled on it uh, accidentally or they got it from this album right here. Um, it's a very short listen. I believe it's on yellow translucent vinyl, if I remember right. Uh, not a very long album, but just fucking killer shit. Yep. High Roller Records. They do a very good, good uh, free issues. I'm going to order more from them. I love their reissues. Anyway, yeah, Scrapito by Slaughter. Very mystical album to me right here. So mystical. Hopefully, you guys don't get tired of that. <laughs> yeah, you already know what it is. Uh, Immortal at the Heart of Winter. And this album's like a thrash, death, black metal album uses all those really, really, uh, really uh, awesome albums. Gatefold. My favorite Immortal album. Um, I like listening to this one. It's uh, The Day After It Snows when it has that kind of overcast and just dead quiet outside. This is the album I like to listen to. Um, badass. Immortal. At the heart of darkness. Took some newer bands. Um, Crip Sermon. Uh, Out of the Garden. Really, really awesome. Uh, I guess traditional album. Uh, traditional metal. Dark Descent. Uh, this brings me back to back in the days when uh, you had bands like um, Manila Road and uh, Heavy Load and Satan and some of those other bands. Uh, Omen. It's kind of like that. Badass artwork. Uh, the vocalist on this album has, oh, Candle Mask. This really reminds me of Candle Mask. Vocalist on this is so freaking awesome. And the artwork is on Knights of the Templar on the castle. Beautiful. Beautiful piece of art right here. And uh, last one on the show. Um, 
Visigoth. Uh, man, I need to get this. I'm not a picture of this. Whenever I ordered this, uh, Conqueror's Oath. Uh, whenever I ordered this, I didn't think, I didn't know it was being pictures this, but honestly, picture this sounds freaking, pretty good. They did a good job on it. Back. This album's so killer. It's a killer album. Um, yeah, if you haven't heard this one, I suggest checking it out. There's a guy. Conqueror's Oath. All right, that concludes my mystical. Oh, one more mystical album. I forgot to put it in there. If I could find it. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on out of there. Leave it. I got it. Flip this over. That's horse shit. That's that Manila Road. Mystifier. That's so good. Piece of lint. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. So, uh, I forgot. This is mystical. And I got this on cassette and CD. This is, of course, Bathory. Uh, picture disc. I can only find it on picture disc, which is sad. But it doesn't sound too bad, to be honest with you. This badass album. Um, find, find a way to not. Oh man, this, this is awesome. Classic. I just noticed something because this is more Viking black metal. And I'd say this is Viking black metal. It kind of has that same feel. Badass. Anyway, that concludes it. Hopefully, you find this off later.